What the heck is this? <laughs> All right, so after a long weekend of TNA tapings in Philly, I'm in St. Louis City. Look at this place. This is where we're staying today. With Grandel in St. Louis, where I'll be wrestling Gary J. But I think the plan is to first get some food and then go do the show. And it's a big show. They had a billboard and everything. So, our Airbnb is right above from... Oh, hi, Jake. From the Southwest Diner and that's us. And that's food. Meat. Well, I gotta vlog this, but the other, the other place was uh, a 45 minute wait so we couldn't go. It's a shame because it was very conveniently located. We're here at, what's this place called? Biggie's. Biggie's. And uh, we've got steak sandwiches. That looks, that looks very awesome. That does look awesome. I got the chicken farm. Very indulgent, but I got a big match, so I need all my energy. <laughs> Okay, this venue is crazy and I'm in the main event and my match is also going to be crazy. So I'm uh, looking forward to all of it. I don't know. I know I said that. I'm full. I'm happy. I'm wrestling in a beautiful theater. It's a good day. Hi, Jake. Hi. When's your match? Second. Second? I feel like every time you do this, I'm like, who are you wrestling? And I point to the biggest fucking dude in the room. Oh, man. <laughs> that happens a lot. Like every time, dude. <laughs> uh, are you going to break the ring? There's a very good chance. Oh, man. Are you, you're not doing like a no superplex or nothing? No. No Brock Lesnar, Mark Henry, no, the post. No, I do legitimately think that if we did that, something would break. I think you need it now. Let's do it, brother. Yeah, I, think <laughs> I think the no, expectations are set. Now it's there. <laughs> and you, it is your duty to go out there and do your best to break the ring. Keep an ear out, boys. Right? Hear, oh, hear those buckles hit? The buckles hit? That's my favorite noise. I think. <laughs> that weird metallic yeah. link where the ring goes, pump, and then you hear, clunk. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I think, was it you and I that tried to break a ring before? Weren't we somewhere like, hey, the ring's a little fucked up, boys? We're like, I that sounds like us. I, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, best of luck. <laughs>
Yeah, Hello, yeah, we got right? Louis. Is Louis the name? No, Good. Like uh, it says it says Louis on the back of the shirt, but I I'm not I'm not familiar. See, uh, you're on the show today. Big match. Uh, are you doing so? Are you doing? I know someone is. Are you doing the Spanish fly from the top rope to the floor today? I think he's doing jujitsu. That's not you. You're doing jujitsu. Are you gonna hurt anyone? Because that's kind of the point of this thing, right? Okay, awesome. As long as you hurt someone, we're cool. Thank you. Perfect. Jake, how was your match? I feel bad. <laughs> Why do you feel bad? I got hit in the bread basket. Did you feel? <laughs> did you feel your steak sandwich come up? Yeah. I wish I would love to have it. <laughs> it does really hurt. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know what a bread basket is. That's a thing. Please, I don't know whoever's going to watch this, tell him what a bread I've basket heard, is. I've heard ooh right in a bread basket before. You just didn't know what it was. I don't. I didn't know that it was a thing. I thought it was like a thing you said. You've heard. The story about Kevin Steen learning English from pro wrestling. No. So, like French, French is my first language, uh -huh. and I kind of learned English through watching professional wrestling. So words that were used in wrestling uh -huh. in WF in the like early 2000s, late 90s were just like normal words. Oh yeah, like what? Like SmackDown and Slobberknocker. <laughs> Those are just words that normal English words that everyone knew and used. You bust it out. Yeah, right? If you're learning English through Raw is War in 1998, You'll, you'll think those are just words. You know, with Jerry the King Lawler on command, you could have learned a lot worse. So. Oh, man. <laughs> pretty thankful for what you what you gained. Yeah, yeah. No, I, but I'm pretty sure I'd, I'd said some unintentionally horrible things yeah, of as a child yeah. just because I heard them on TV. Yeah. I'm sure I've said some very horrible accidental things as a 34 year old man <laughs> <laughs> you know you're just running around telling people to suck it you know yeah, what's the big deal suck what i don't even know yet why i don't know what that means wait put what in their mouth ew why would people do that i mean it doesn't make sense you don't just get to that conclusion it's a tough world out there okay my hair is wet you know what that means i'm going up next big main event you will be filming everything, so I trust you. Please just get as close as you can to the ring. Get that real up-close footage. Get right on the stage. Get in front of the cameraman. If they yell at you, tell them Speedball gave you the camera. All right. <laughs> Bless. Thank you, my friend.
Gary, you didn't just win. You whooped my ass. But first, I'm gonna let you send everyone home happy. But before, I've got a few things I'd like to say. I was supposed to wrestle Mike Outlaw. And I said, let's go. But that didn't happen. And then, I was pitched a long lineup of outstanding St. Louis talent to wrestle. And none of it worked out. Until we landed on the name Gary Chan. been doing this, putting his body and his life on the line for 20 years. And I only get to wrestle in these parts every so often. So if I was going to have a match of this caliber, I wanted the best. I wanted someone who represents the flaming hot pool of talent in St. Louis. Now my friend, if you represent the talent that comes out of this city, the future is good. To you and everyone who supported you throughout your long career. Thank you. Did I sit here?